Hi, Julie Torrens here. So I've worked a little bit on my journal while I was away. And what I've got here is I've got three times the length of my journal and I've got my needle and I'm going to stitch her up. So I, I have these clamps. Now I clamped the journal but I didn't clamp the cover. So, all right, let's fix that. I don't know why I left the cover out, but here we go. Crafting with Julie. <laughs> okay, let's just clamp that there. And that is the cover front. And, oy, oy, oy. Okay, clamp that one. I think I'll open the arms of this one before I get it tied down. All right, now this looks a little crooked to me. It needs to come down a little bit. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, definitely needs to come down a little bit there okay holding it tight as I can and there and this one good good let's get this one boy it looks like it migrated down again. It's okay. It's not like it was. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I can just see. Yeah, it's all slid. Hang on. Let's give it one more go. What I can see is the book has shifted. There. We want it there. Go down. There. Okay. Big clamp. There. I was trying to spare you all this, but my efforts were no good. Now, how are we? All right. Okay. Now, I just have an old book. I bought it for book page, but it didn't work out because it had bad words. So, it's good for this. I'm going as best I can, just eyeballing it for the center, giving it a poke through, and then about an inch from the bottom, and about an inch from the top. All right, let's hope that went through. Thank you, book. Yes, it went through, but it needs more. Like, you know, more drilling to get yeah, the holes just a little bit bigger. I am pleased that as I put the awe back in, it is lining up with the hole. <laughs> be awful if I made a second hole. I don't want to put this right through my hand. There we go. Okay. Good. Thank you all. Now, I've got my, this is waxed, and it's book binding thread. So it's a waxed thread. Go right in the middle, and I know this is going to be tough to pull out, at least for me. So grab some pliers, and there she goes. Now I want to leave enough in the middle that I can, enough thread, 
that I can easily make a bow. Okay, now I'm going back in the top. And here we go. I know that seemed like a lot of prep, but I'll tell you, it's worth it. Because once you get it tied, you certainly don't want to have to untie it. Okay, that feels snug. I'm going all the way to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Hooked up here. Good. And now back through the middle, but you don't want to split that thread with your needle. So we did good there. And pull it up in the middle. There. There. I'm not even injured. Okay. Obviously, I made too much thread, but that's all right. Now, we want to tighten this up. I'm looking to make sure that my strings in the back are snug. And I hope you can see at least some of this. And I'm going to, I'm going to put one thread on the right side and then this other tail on the left side there and now i'm going to make a knot give it a good tightening down check the back they could be tighter you don't want to rip your papers but better much better and the wax not only helps it slide through those holes a lot easier but it helps keep it snug all right, I'm going to make a little bow. And there's a little bow. Okay, I'm going to make those bow tails just a little bit smaller. Tighten it up again. Okay, it's fiddly, but we got it done. Let's trim this up. I don't know why I grab these scissors. When it comes to thread or, oh, well, that's not going to work. All right, when it comes to thread or fabric, that is not your friend. Wow, this one isn't either. And these are my good Fiskars. Well, wax thread, <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Come on. There we go. How terrible does that look? Eh, it's all right. Oh, my bow came apart. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm trimming these down. There. It's not going to have a bow this time, and that's fine. Okay, now let's get rid of this thread. I know people would save it. I'm not saving it. And what I like to do is I like to get my art glitter glue, and I just make a little dot not on the paper, just on the threads. And I just think that gives it an extra measure of stay tightness. And I'm gonna blot that with a paper towel and call it done. All right, let's take these clips off. Now, if I did it wrong, would I take it apart and redo it? Yes, I would. 
we've worked too hard on this to not have it be right to have it be upside down or something like that. Okay, let's see if we can, because my desk is packed, but it's all good. But I want to get rid of some stuff that we're not going to need anymore. Like my sewing needle. And this whole kit. Yeah, well, play with that later, but it can go away for now. All right. So, journal is good. Do you remember I said this bubble, if it was still there after it was dry, I would do something about it. Today's the day. It is obviously still there. So, what? how, how do I take care of that? All right. First thing is... I need to get my craft knife. I'm going to have to stand up. Ugh. I know it's here. Yeah, here it is. But it just, I knew it was hard to find. All right. So we get the craft knife out. Haven't used this one before, but that's all right. Feels like I'm going to cut my hand before I even get it out of the package. We don't want to mess up the journal. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is an air bubble. So I'm going to make, at the, at the tallest part of the bubble, or where I think I can easily make a line, I'm going to make a line right here right through that paper. All right, did we make it? We should have, yes. Okay, so we've got that there. Now what? Set that aside. Art glitter glue. And what I'm gonna try to do, let's clean this tip off just a little bit, because that's just making the tip all the bigger, okay? Now, I may need that scalpel again. Where is it? I'll find it. There it is. All right. So, there. I'm going to squirt some glue in here. And yes, it ripped a little bit more. That's okay. And I'm going to squirt some glue on the other side. And now I'm going to take a paper towel and just squash it. And hold my hand there for a minute and say a prayer. And it should be okay. It'll be better. It'll be better than that big, bumpy hole. Okay. Now there's a little discoloration, but that is from the glue, and it will go away. Okay. Now it just looks like another wrinkled piece. Okay, now let's get this knife put away before I hurt somebody. And get the lid on the art glitter glue. Now, I can still see it. There we go. If you just keep kind of pressing it, you keep pressing the air out before the glue takes complete hold. All right. Now, what I noticed while I was here, I have a little bit of white showing here. And, you know, I'm not sure what I think it is because I know what the board looks like inside and that's not what it looks like but it's where the gel print ended and the white paper started but it looks like a mistake so i didn't bring my pink ink but i'm gonna go grab it it's right here don't go away okay grab the white ink grab a 
Q-tip or a cotton bud. Get some ink on here. And gentle, gentle, ink this up a little bit. And I'm going to put some here. And now I'm going to put some here. Do it, does it really need it here? No. But I'm just giving it, I don't know, kind of like a little disguise. And now before that dries, I'm going to grab that paper towel again. And I'm just going to give it a little buff. And you'll see, it'll kind of sharpen it up. Okay, there, good. This is already turning back to its natural pink. That'll be fine. And we've done that. Okay, we repaired the front. I think it looks great. I'm not gonna use, I don't think, this pink ink, so I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, now it's time to start decorating. And I've got all kinds of stuff for decorating. So instead of showing it to you one at a time, I'll just, as I grab it, we'll talk about it. All right, so what needs decorating and what are we gonna do? All right, I think here we could use a nice pocket. So I cut my master board into pieces that made sense and that's a little too big. Now let's see, I cut a particularly larger one like this with the idea that I would fold it up. So let's do that. All right, so move this aside for a moment. I'm gonna take this because it's got kind of a eyelet lace look and I'm just gonna match that up, good. Give this a thumb hole. Round the two top corners. One of the things I did while I was away was I rounded all the corners in the journal. All right, now this is a sweet little pocket, isn't it? Let's get some art glitter glue. And we're gonna glue this part down. Get my paper towel. Give it a press. Okay, and now let's decorate this up a little bit. Here is scraps, some washi tape, things that go with the journal already. Like I've got this. I don't like that with that. No. And now this is its own companion. This is a piece left over from cutting these shapes out. That could be fun. Let's do a couple of punches. We'll need to make them small. This is on the green side, so I'm gonna punch over here on the pink side. And maybe over here where there's some orange. And one more, another pinkish, like, see. Maybe I'll go ahead where there's pink and green. Okay, good start. Let's get these guys down. Let's get the glue book out because, whoop, losing stuff. And before I put those down, this is from a gel print that I made and I've got it in, in the journal. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tear
and let's see. Okay, so we want this part off. And then I'll trim it when we get it glued on. Put those back in the bin and let's just see. Maybe I should trim it now rather than get too much glue. All right. Good. And let's glue this on. I think that'll look pretty. Just using my glue stick. Still a little too long. I can fold it under because that's going to be glued down to the to the book. All right, I love that. And then let's get these guys down. I think I'll start with the green one. Pink one. I'm going to hold this down a minute because this is uh, cardstock. It's from a 12 by 12. And so, timber. Okay. I like that. Good. Get the lid on my art glitter glue. Did I wait too long? No. There. Okay. Okay. What else? I've got some little flowers and little butterflies. This is from a Tim Holtz pack of ephemera that I got in Happy Mail from Eddie. What do you think? Gorgeous. All right. I'm going to grab some ink because there's white spots. And I'm going to go with my vintage photo for this one. And just give it an ink up around the edges. But I think this flower looks nice and boho. Yep. Okay. And this is, this is heavy. And so what I'm going to do is when I glue it, I'm going to use some art glitter glue. But I want a little something right there. I'm going to get into my tiny little, tiny little stickers. Now, this one is kind of the right colors. Let's do that. I don't have a pin in there. It's okay. I've got pins. Well, it's not that my desk is too crowded. Hmm. All right. Open another tin because I know I've got a needle. There we go. Or a pin in one of these. Don't lose that pin. Because this is a sticker. Now there is acrylic paint on that, but it's pretty thin and the newspaper is showing. So I think this sticker will stick just fine. Okay, good. And now let's get our flower down. So if you are working on a journal, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let me glue up there. 
and let me know how it's going. I know I've heard from a couple of you that are working on some boho journals and I'm so excited. I want to see them. Okay. I like that. I hope that you do. Now, what about the top of this pocket? Well, you know what? We're going to put some, some items in there. So we don't need to decorate that up. See how this is turning to be the right color? All right. This can go right here. I think that's gorgeous. But you know what? Kind of blends in with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just around the edge. I'm not worried about the pocket itself. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up with some vintage photo. Just so that it can stand out a little bit from that background. I think that's good. And we're going to going to glue that right down. All right. Our glitter glue. So I'm serious. I want to know about your journals. And while you're there in the comments, go ahead, please, and hit that like button. And I can tell by my analytics that I have a lot more people watching than I have subscribing. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing. I'm a new channel, newish. I've been around for a year, but subscribers would help me so much if you would just support me by hitting that subscribe. That would help. Okay. And good. Okay. I think I'll go backwards later and put like, we'll make some tags and things because we've got them started, but I want to keep going. Okay. This page, what should we do over here? We've got, let's see. We can do a big pocket here. It would go on top of the stitching. It feels too big. I've got, I can do a couple of little pockets. Also, the, my kit came with a few. Now here is, whoa, now, say, here's a pocket that came with the kit. Let's do that. It doesn't have a thumb hole, but I don't think it needs one. No, let's just glue this down. I love it. Okay, put your hand where you don't want to put the glue. On my wish list, I've got a book weight so that I'm not fighting my journal wanting to close all the time. So... But the very next thing on my list is a printer. And that's an expensive one, so. Because I do want to get a laser. Laser printers used to be thousands of dollars. And they used to be big. Like something you'd have in an office standing on the floor. Well, they brought them down. And I found one. It's an HP. And it's like desk size. I have a space for it. And uh, it is only right now $318. So, I mean, I say only. That's, that's enough money that I need to save up. But that's okay. All right. This is on. I think it looks great. 
we're going to be putting some tags and things. I'll just show you this, this like an example. So you see, I, I just don't think we need to um, do anything up here. I think we can just turn the page, but I like that page. It came out great. All right, here's two of the plainest pages we're going to see today. What else? Let's, I'm going to go back into this one. And like I've got this little pocket, or it could be a pocket, or it could be a journaling card. Let's see if I have a companion for it. <clears throat> These are just like labels. So those are good, but not for this. Okay, what's this? That's bigger. We'll leave it out and see if I find a companion. Nope. Nope. Now I've got this, but it's too close. We just we just had that. I've got more of these. Hmm. What's this? Hey! Ta-da! Okay. Let's get two of those on. And since this is not the paper that came with the kit, I think putting some of the kit on it is nice. And we will just stagger them like this and use small tags. Let's do that. All right. Let's put thumb hole. I should have held them together. I'll do it now. There. And that way they'll look like a pair. And I'll go just a tiny bit bigger. All right. Those things just splatter everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges, but I'm not going to use the vintage photo this time. I'm going to use my majestic violet and let's let's take a risk and set that right on the book and let's close up the art glitter glue before I start crying as soon as I can find my pins I'm going to it needs a new pin all right quit yammering I like this purple on here. And I'm just using a uh, cosmetic sponge. Okay, one done. Even though you can barely see it as I do it, when you set it on top of the page, it will stand out. Okay. Thank you. Now, looks good. All right, let's get this one glued down. Oh, I found my pins. They just caught my eye. Yay. All right. We can celebrate that later. Get it straight, straight as I know how. Give it a press. All right. This one. We're moving right along, folks. I know we're not going to get done today. But because we need to make all the tags for these pockets... And then we need to, well, tags and other fun things to put in the pockets. Then there's going to be adding lace. And then I'm going to be making a closure. 
and I'm going to be putting an eyelet in it and I want to dangle some beads and fun things. So we, we've got a ways to go, but don't be discouraged. It's all good fun. Okay, I like these, but should we just do them up a little bit? I don't think it would hurt. Where's this thing? Well, let, first of all, let's see about, well, these are just heads and bodies, but they're not put together. So I don't think that's going to, I'm going to throw that away. It's too depressing. I've got this. No, that's not right. I've got this again. I don't think, I think we need something with a little more punch, don't you? How about this? Wrong pink. Look with me. Purple? How about purple? And this has a shimmer. Okay, okay. This is it. Let's get some purple. This is uh, sprayed with shimmer sprays, co coffee filter. Little, uh, maybe I should see if it fits. It sure does. Coffee filter that was sprayed with spray ink and then uh, shimmer spray. And I think that looks cool. All right, and do the same thing on the other one. And get some glue. Shimmer side up, please. I've got a, I've got a little like bump of glue on there. I don't want to, I don't want to wreck anything here. Huh. Not that I haven't done it before. Oh, for crying out loud! All right, I want this one to go this way. Okay, good, good, good. Now, I don't know if any of these little flowers are little enough, but I know there is some small stuff in here. So let's just dig a little bit. When I see something small, I'll grab it. Oh, that's totally wrong colors. What's this? I think if I'm, if I'm right, it's like a... There's like a spray. You know what I mean? Nope. Yep. Grabbing it. Nope. Wrong colors. But there are the right colors in here. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. This is purple and pink. All right. It's big, but let's, let's divide it up. We can do that. All right. Let's see. I think we can divide it right here. So when you divide it, you don't just want to chomp it. You want to kind of look at the design and sort of wrap around the design a little bit. Okay, now see, look. Now tell me that's not beautiful. Of course it is. Now what have we got left? Fine. Let's get them on. Oh, let's get the purple. Let's get that purple ink. We're having a purple moment. Flowers have purple. And we put some purple paper in there. Why stop? Keep going. Okay, good. Now, I've got all my glues hanging open, and then I wonder why they give me trouble. I don't wonder. I know perfectly well. Operator error. Okay.
Beautiful. This one. Thanks, Eddie. Hope you're watching. Leave a comment, please. He always does if he's looking at it. I will link him. I've linked him before. I will link him in my description. Let's put it this way. Eddie Makes Art is his channel. And he's doing a boho journal. So you can get a whole nother viewpoint. His videos are coming out just like mine. So I don't mean... The timing is like mine. Okay. I, I see a little... Well, it's is it lifting or is it a shadow? We'll call it a shadow and I can always come back and give it a press. Yeah, this one's coming up. Let's get just a little more glue there. These are stiff. And we well made, but they're they're thicker than like a playing card. They are heavy. But you know, if they were all fine and fragile, then we'd have to be fussy cutting them. Because, you know, these go in a big old truck and then they get delivered here, there, here, there. So then they hang in a store. They need to be hardy. All right. I think we're good. Now, let's just, for my own sake, now see? Won't that be nice? Yep. Okay. Good. I'm going to leave this page. I may come back to it and do something, but right now, I... I feel like we've got a lot going on. So this can be just like this, at least for now. All right. Well, what would a pocket look like on there? I'm seeing a lot of oranges. Huh. That got on the purple link. Sure did. Well, that's not pretty. I'm cutting it off. And I did not cut that very straight. There. Now we have to be careful, huh? Good. Yes. Okay. I'm going to round the top corners. Give it a thumb hole. Well, where's that punch? Oh, right here. Good. There's absolutely no purple on this page at all. So, even though it was wearing purple earlier, we're going in with the vintage... Oh, well, there went a bucket of stuff. We're going in with the vintage photo. I told you I have a lot of stuff on my desk. And that's because when you're doing this kind of a project, you need a lot of stuff. You need a lot of goo -gahs and, you know, things. I'll grab it in a second because we're going to need that. I like that. Let's glue her down. Holding it on the wrong side. Good. Paper towel. Good. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to grab that bucket that tipped over. 
because it's got all the ephemera from the kit. Huh? That bonnet? It's all right. I'm getting a good view of it all. It's all over the floor, but I'm picking it up quick. Quick as I can. Almost done. And there. Okay. Because I really was thinking of this for this pocket. See all that tipped on the floor. Okay. So, what I was thinking is some of these little buttons that came with the kit. You know I like circles, but it came with those circles. And there's a little flower. That doesn't do much for me. How about, now I cut these out of a different thing, but I thought the colors went. I like that. Okay, not sure about the buttons. I've got this. Oh, yes. Okay, that says boho. Good. Good. Let's get started with this. This stamp is from a different paper pad. And uh, I like it. Should we put, because this has purple, should we put a little of this? I think so. Oh, yes. Don't get too excited here, Julie. Slow down. Boy, you're probably thinking, if you slow down anymore, you'll be going in reverse. I know. I'm very slow and methodical. I walk slow. I eat slow. I talk fast and too much. Yep, I like that. Now this. That's from that, some painty paper, magazine paper. Okay, then what else was I going to use? This stamp. Thanks for whoever said it. I don't have one of those perforated type um, scissors, so I just cut it out with pinking shear type scissors. They're, they're not pinking shears, but they're, you know, they're... Scissors that you buy to cut different bumps and shapes and stuff. Okay. All right. I like that. But we need something over here. I have another stamp. Totally the wrong colors. But is that bad? No, that's... That's bad. Now that's the same one. We don't want that. All right, let's go with the pink one. Yep. I like that. We may only get through a few pages here. I don't know. It was raining. It's not raining now, but it looks threatening. And it's not nice out. It's it's cold. It, you got to put a coat on. Not something. And yesterday I had the air conditioning going. After I cooked my supper, it, it got warm in here. All right. So what's this going to look like? Cute, cute. I'm I, I'm I'm looking over here, folks. Another sticker. Let's see. This is green, and that has green, and it's oval, and that's oval. Yeah, that's what it needs. Thank you for saying it. 
It's exactly what it needs. Get a pin. There. I like that it's green like this. Good. I like that better. Now again, I know this looks a lot blank, but see, we've got tags of different sizes that are going to go in there and so that that's going to that's going to be fine. Okay. Let's keep going. This is designed for writing, so we don't need to do anything there. This is pretty down here, but what about up here? Now, everything doesn't have to be a pocket. I've got those things like this. Let's put one of those up there, and then we'll put some decorations on it. Yeah, I also have some, this is kind of like washi that came with it. Are they all that color? I'm looking. Yes. Well, we'll think about that. But I, I like the idea of just putting this up here. So let's start with that. I think I'm going to ink it up. Oh, don't even do that again. Put it on the floor by me. Okay. Another thing on my wish list, one of those carts that I can have by my desk and just sort of have some of this stuff that I need for mixed media at hand, but not necessarily right on my work area. Hey, I'm gonna put some glue stick. Okay. I want to get this as straight as I can. That looks good. All right, now. I don't mind this. Let's do that. I'm not even going to ink it up. It's already brown. And a person, if they um, so choose, they could put a little photograph in there or a little something, you know, that they that they want. They, you know, you I expect folks to customize their journals a little bit. All right. I've got some little ones that go with it. And I think we're going to put a couple of those on. Everything's sticking to my fingers. All right. We've been on the same glue page this whole time. And now things are sticking to it. So let's give it a turnover. All right. Get this little guy on there. And get this little guy on there. Good. Okay, we're done. What's going on on this page? Again, writing. And again, I think it's time for a pocket again. Let's see. Do I have any more that came with it? I don't think so. You're probably saying, Julie, you already looked. I have this. I could turn that into a pocket. I have this. I like that. Let's do the light one. And then we'll put something flashy on it. Let's get the hole punch. 
and I'm going to go with the brown. And I'm going to I'm going to give it a heavier coating. Just to spice it up. Okay, our glitter glue. And we're gonna glue it up here. Okay, looks straight to me. Good. Now, on top, we've got purple over here. I've got some more of this purple, but is it too much of that close up together? Should we find a new, a new trick? I've got yellow and orange. I don't mind that. And this is the shimmery side. All right. This is, again, coffee filter. It's much hardier than tissue paper, but you still kind of get the look and the feel of tissue paper. At least I think so. Good, good, good. Okay, what about some of this? I'll show you what this is. I like this turquoise. Now this is the paint left over from making the, uh, what did we make? Um, master boards. Yeah, I like this turquoise. I'm deciding on a size of a circle. I, th I think I'm going to go with big. Yep. And it's going to it's going to take up some of the pink, but I don't think that's a bad thing. There we go. I like that. And then, let's leave it like that. I think we've definitely got some different looks. You know, we're not, we're not, because we're paging, you know, front to back. We're not skipping around in the journal. So I think we're kind of uh, mixing it up a little bit, which is good. Now, should we think about one of these flowers again? We've got a bigger area, so we can, oh, too big, but I like it. Maybe there's a smaller one. Well, that's bigger. I see a smaller one. Hey, hey, hey. I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. It's the color, I think, that's making me hesitate. Okay, I like this color better. Now, if it seems like, I'm gonna, I'm going to vintage photo the edge of this. If it, if it seems like I'm mixing it up a lot, I am because I feel like this is a very eclectic type of journal. I don't think it's designed to be matchy-matchy, although we are matching things up. So, so then what do I mean by that? We're not doing 
real, you know, a lot of matchy matchy, but we're not making it so that it's confusing. See, that to me is the difference. When something looks confusing and you just, you don't know where to look or you don't know what's going on, I don't think that's a, a good look. I still don't like that that way. Do I like it better this way? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? I mean, we, we're, we're not just doing close your eyes and pick colors. We kind of have a colorway going. We have a lot of pattern, but we're not putting every single pattern on every single page. That's where I think the difference is. And we're still trying to have balance. And we're definitely, do you like my, do, do, do you like my, my attempt at boho? <laughs> Put on every bracelet I own practically. Okay. Okay. Do we have time for more? I'm going to see. Oh no, we got to go. Thank you for joining me. We'll page through as I say, please consider liking subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. And today is a great day to subscribe. And then I will see you in another video. Bye now.